What's up guys? In the video you're about to see, we go deep sea fishing out of Stewart, Florida and I catch the biggest vermilion snappers I have ever caught in my life. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end because we pretty much found the best recipe ever for cooking vermilion snapper on the half shell and we marinated it and then barbecued it. Check it out starting now. Morning, Dark Sizzle Nation. Beautiful morning out here today. We are totally blessed to be out here and excited to be sharing this adventure with you today. First lines in the water, we're catching bait. And I'm bringing up the first one. Let's see what it is. A thread fin. Shark, shark, shark! Yes! Or is that a porpoise? Hooked up on the first fish of the day. We got a lot, a lot of line out. So he's not to the boat yet, but we came to the first spot. We are using dead shrimp as bait. I'm sorry, dead squid as bait right now on a chicken rig. And we're on a bunch of structure, a bunch of concrete piles here in this area and we're just hooked up. Feels like a nice fish. A snapper. Nice one. Nice one too. Oh, it's American Red. Nope. Are you? Nope. It's oh my God. He's so big that he looked like an that American. Old, that old vermilion. Holy goodness gracious, he's huge. That is nuts. I literally almost thought it was an American red snapper, which I very rare to catch. Check out that fish right there. That is a stud vermilion snapper. Also known as vermies, also known as bee liners. They're so pretty and quite delicious to eat. They kind of remind me of a yellowtail snapper. Really pretty meat. I thought he was in a red, that's so funny. There we go. Oh, he's pulling too. Come here. Come to the boat. Captain Pete putting us on the fish today. He's doing the fish dance. Oh my gosh, the world's biggest runner. Woo! Look at that toad. Got him. Yeah. Ooh, this one's pulling real hard. Good. 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 Woo! This feels like a nice fish. But just got him there off the bottom. Nice doubled up now. There we go. Captain Pete's got a nice one too. There we go. Looks like we found where they're at. There we go. Doubled up. Beautiful day in South Florida. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beaut. Right kind, right kind. Beaut. That's a beaut. Nice. These are giant vermilions. Oh, yeah. Ooh, studs. Oh, fish on. Fish on the flat. Check Good them time. out. Check them out. All right. So, Captain Pete said that those are like the bigger size. Is this drag knot set? We do one one. So those vermilion snappers, they get about five to seven pounds, like the upper size of them. There's water drop. Oh, he just popped. There's water droplets all over the lens. But the vermilion snapper we're after today, they're all the bigger size. He said those are nice sized fish for this area. And those vermilion snapper get upwards of five to seven pounds. I mean, that's a big snapper in general. So those bad boys are probably like four pounds, maybe three pounds. Those are nice fish. Uh, so we got three keeper vermilions in the boat so far. And it looks like whatever it was did not fray the line and he just popped the hook, which sometimes that happens. All right, we're gonna reset the drift though. That's what you have to keep doing. Drifting over the structure, over the area where the fish are and catching dinner. Got him. There you go. That was quick. Fish on again. Cat and Pete putting us in the meat. Whoa, that's a red snapper. Oh, it's a red snapper. Unbelievable. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, check them out. Very pretty American red snapper. Check out how pretty he is. Definitely on the smaller side, but he's all lit up and gorgeous. Unfortunate that I can't keep him and do a catch and hook because it's not season. But let's let him go. 
He was ready. <laughs> he almost came out of the water on that. Get him off the bottom first. Uh, hooked up. Oh my gosh. Ugh. How are they getting off? You lost them? Yeah. Oh. What the heck? Oh. What? Flex them. <laughs> Thanks. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Woo! I have no idea. We are back at the house, guys, and it is finally cooled off. The sun is gone, which makes it feel amazing out here, especially during the summertime. So it's time to fillet the fish because Captain Pete is awesome and gave, gave us all the fish. So we have got in my grizzly cooler a beautiful vermilion snapper. And it's so cool. They're like one of the only species that actually look very awesome when they're dead because um, a lot of species actually like lose their color. So it's pretty cool to see a gorgeous fish looking exactly the same as I caught him. So I've been using my Bubba knives, got my selection of knives um, already picked out, and everything that I use, once again, Amazon store, check that out if you're interested to get your own knives or own gear or whatever you're interested in, but we're just gonna get right to it. I've done this quite a bit, a lot of videos. I like to make that head cut right behind the, the pectoral fin, and then we're just gonna follow it down. All the way right down. And this fish is actually fairly easy to fillet, but you do need a sharp knife just to get through these scales. And their meat isn't the firmest meat in the world. It actually kind of falls apart, like um, similar to a yellowtail snapper when you cook it. So it's just a really flaky, awesome, white, snow white meat. And just following that rib cage down. Bunch of pin bones right here. Gonna break those, and then I just like to kind of keep the rig, the whole rib cage intact here. You can cut through it if you want to, but I like to keep the innards intact. And then we'll just finish laying this bad side, this side off. There we go. Check out that meat, and that is a stud fillet right there for a big old vermilion snapper. And that's a quality fish for that area that we were fishing. So let's get this other side off real quick, doing the same exact thing. And we're gonna do something a little different with our catch and cook for y'all. This is gonna be on the half shell. And if you don't know what the half shell is, it basically means, and it applies to a lot of things like clams and scallops and fish, on the half shell just means that we're gonna leave them on the skin. So we're gonna cook them with the skin on and it actually acts as a barrier if we were gonna cook them on the grill and it will just flake right off the skin here. So on the half shell, vermilion snapper, let's do it. Let's get into the kitchen with pudding. Great job on flaying those vermilion thrusts. That was totally awesome. But welcome again, guys, to another episode of, you get out of my screen. Great job, Dar Sizzle, on filleting those vermilions. You're totally awesome with that. I, I haven't filleted a fish in like five years, guys, so uh, I don't do it very well somehow. Anyway, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pudding. Now, today we're going to be doing vermilion snapper, just like Darcy just filleted. We're going to be doing it a little differently on the half shell. And actually, this is a recipe that Darcy came up with, so let's get right to her. Okay, last fillet is going into my bowl here, or cooking dish. And I just removed all the pin bones out of the filet so that way when we go to eat it, we don't have to worry about eating around the bones, which is awesome. And I will confess this is our first time cooking it like this and I'm really excited. So I've got all my ingredients here and everything that we're gonna be using for our marinade. So first things first, the fish has got to sit for like 30 minutes in this marinade. And I'm just gonna start here. So we've got our olive oil, yummy olive oil. Just lay it all over the fish. Worcestershire sauce, same thing. Some thyme, 
and then some Kanye pepper. Is that how you say it? Kanye pepper? Kanye the Wheezy pepper. No, it's, it's Kanye, Kanye, Kanye West Kanye. pepper. Kanye. Kanye pepper. Kanye. Hot pepper. I rarely use hot This stuff. is why it's cooking with pudding, guys. No. So I gotta jump I in. I cook all the time. All right, paprika going in. Paprika? How do you spell that? P-A-P-R-I-K-E. <laughs> K-A, maybe. That's fine. K-A. Do your homework, kids. Just rubbing in the seasonings here all over the fish so it's nice and covered. So that way there's not clumps of it all over the place, but just basically evenly spreading it out. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to add some sea salt for taste. Fresh ground pepper. And, and of course, guys, we're going to put the recipe down below in the, in the description, of course. And so, uh, you know, you've got to write this down as you're watching. All right, now while that's marinating for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, we're gonna get our vegetables going. We're just gonna have some simple stuff like broccoli, maybe some yellow rice, is that what we're having? Yeah, now there's just a couple more things we gotta put on top here real quick, but let me get my hands washed. Good idea. All right, next step is what, Dar Sizzle? Just a couple more things for the marinade. We're gonna be squeeze some fresh lemon onto it. If you don't have one of these contraptions, it's the best thing in the whole wide world, it's awesome. And then we have some yellow onion sliced thin, and we're just gonna basically like take the rings and just Lay it in the marinade as well. Looks delicious. It is gonna be so good. I love onion. <laughs> that is definitely one of my things. My dad hated onions and I love onions. <laughs> and I love garlic, lots of garlic. I honestly would use a lot more than this, but we're gonna follow the recipe here. Time to cook that fish and we put it on the barbecue. It's gonna to be totally awesome. Now to make sure the fish doesn't stick right to the grill, I'm gonna be putting it right in the grill. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on the grill so it don't stick. We're gonna leave the top stuff, the garlic and the onion, in the bowl for now. I'm just gonna put the fish on. Put down flesh first. Nice. Let that cook like five or seven minutes and then we're gonna flip it over. Awesome. Now, while that's cooking outside on the barbecue, Darcy is working on the rice. We've got the broccoli done. And she's making a little bit of sauce, which of course is going to be in the recipe below, but it's basically butter and just parsley. All right, time to flip. You guys can see it's mostly done. We're just going to finish it up here a little bit with some of this good stuff on top. Get the flavors soaking in a little more. All right, just, just a minute of the two. You know, fish cooks in about 10 minutes per inch. This is a fairly thin fish and also not that dense. So uh, it's gonna cook real fast. Delicious. Just add in the butter sauce, final touches. I'm ready to eat our sizzle. I'm ready too. Ladies first. Starving. And just so you know, I don't know if any of you guys know this about pudding, but when we eat food and we eat like meals and stuff, he requests a baby fork. He eats with a baby fork, like the smallest fork ever. And like I have an adult fork, so just so you know. <laughs> I like baby spoons too, I don't care. Yeah, baby it's, spoons. So I have smaller forks. bites. He likes the smallest little utensils ever. It's when you're so as fat cute. as me, I can use a cocktail shrimp fork. It's better. <laughs> it's like I'm an just, adult. I'm just try your adult. fish. I'm gonna use an adult fork. I'm um, the size of two adults. Not a baby fork. Alright, here we go. Amazing. I had a little bit of a bone in there. That was my fault when I was deboning it. Um you have one too? No, it's delicious though. Oh. And the Kanye pepper is really awesome. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I don't cook with hot stuff ever. There might be a so. trademark issue there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's awesome. We got Land Shark beer. We got the great snapper, great meal. Thank you guys so much for watching again. We really appreciate it. I can't say how much we appreciate it because you, we're following our dreams, but you guys are allowing us to follow our dreams. And hopefully we're inspiring some of you guys to do the same. Go out there and catch a fish. Take the kids fishing. Yeah, comment below if you're gonna use this recipe. It's very simple and I'll link ones. it once again in the description. So check it out. 
and this was our first time ever doing it on the half shell. I know you can cook a lot of fish on the half shell, just heads up, but for instance, like snook, you can't do it like that because snook have a very soapy flavor to their skin is what I have heard. I have never done that. So just be cautious of what fish you use, but I would think in general, all snapper is fine. Um, red fish and trout and all that great stuff. So check it out before you do it on the half shell, but it was an awesome first try and we, we, we killed it. Killed it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you very much. Until next time. Follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. We gotta eat. Gotta eat. I've already had you one entire piece. Oh. Cheers. <laughs>